to another vlog. So today we're actually doing a really impromptu trip to Hanover. Daniel has to fly back to Australia and the flight leaves from there. And so I decided I would go with him and then tomorrow hopefully do a bit of tourism. So this is our completely unplanned vlog. So I'm really hoping that the hotel has a nice tourist map for me, but I'll take you around and show you whatever I do seem to find there. hours since I last vlogged so we took a car on blah blah car which is like a car sharing app which was actually really great so the, it took just a bit longer than maybe a train or a bus probably no longer than a bus but a bit longer than a train would take um, essentially people put their cars and say what time they're leaving and where they're going and I think it was 15 euros each to get in the car and so we shared the car with two Germans and they were super friendly and we stopped halfway at Macca's for a coffee and yeah, it was actually really good and now that I've had that good experience, I think I'll definitely do it again. So I was a bit hesitant at first, but good way to get around Germany, blah blah car. So now we're at our hotel and it's about 6pm, so we're going to head, we're going to head and have a look maybe at Old Town for a bit and also go for dinner. So in one order or the other, we'll see. It's actually reunification day today. So hopefully things are open. So I didn't realize it was a public holiday until earlier this morning. But yeah, that is the plan for now. But yeah, Hanover on first impression looks really cute and really super clean so I'm excited to spend a day here dinner we went to go to a place called Aldar 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 which is a Syrian restaurant I believe but we got there and they were fully booked because it is public holiday so then we walked down the road and went to a place called Ruin Thai and it was actually the best Asian food I have had since being in Asia so it was obviously a Thai restaurant and it was delicious the people who run it are from Bangkok and yeah, just a really, really enjoyable experience. Um, one tip if you want to get a little bit drunk, you should order the Mai Tai because it is literally like four drinks in one. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head back to the hotel now because it's really, really cold and I wanna do a little bit of a plan of things to do tomorrow. And this one needs to pack. guys so Daniel has headed to the airport and I am about to drag myself out for a run because it is run day but it is freezing Germany is definitely really starting to get cold I know this isn't winter in Germany yet but this sure feels like winter in Australia so I'm gonna try and take my phone with me so I can hopefully get some shots I'm gonna run down to I think it's called Vashsi um, and because I don't know like I'm only here for a day and a bit I might not get a chance to go back and it's meant to be pretty nice so I'm gonna try and do that but that'll be why the quality drops <laughs> all right wish me luck <laughs> so I made it I found it um it's really nice and it's like near a lot of other little, I don't know if you call them rivers, pieces of water. Um, but I just thought I would mention also, this one's a man-made one. And it really reminds me of Canberra, but totally in a good way. It's really nice. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going with my run. <laughs>
super hectic. So I went for a run, which was amazing. I love running in a new city because you kind of get runners high, plus like the excitement of being in a new city. Plus it's also a really good way to have a look around and see what you want to see later in the day because obviously you can get around faster. <sighs> then I had to like super quickly like pack up and get ready to check out because like I said this was a really last minute trip and I wasn't sure whether I wanted to stay one or two nights depending on the first impression I got of the city but because I liked it so much last night I booked another night but there was nothing left at the other hotels so I had to move hotels then I dragged my ass and all my stuff down here in bits from Daniel um, and this hotel is kind of more like I guess a boutique hotel but like mm, and a, a converted apartment so it's called Centrum Hotel it's actually really nice but um Check-ins not till two, and there was there's not really a proper reception. So I was ringing the bell, and then I saw all the signs, and I don't actually have phone credit at the moment. So I was kind of like, oh, no, don't tell me I'm gonna have to walk back to the other hotel to drop my bags there, so I can go around and get some stuff done. Because I don't want to just sit in a cafe all morning minding my bags. But the lady who's working here is really lovely, and she rushed down, and she took me up and even though I was just going to drop my bags off she actually let me check into the room so I'm all set for the day so now all I need to do is find myself a coffee and some breakfast and I'm ready for some sightseeing so while I was having my coffee I did a bit of research on the city and they actually have a red line drawn that goes around the city taking you between different tourist spots so I'm literally, because I don't know that much about the city, going to follow the line and then just use my Google Maps to work out where I am. So the red line goes straight through the shopping bit and it might seem like a detour but I bought some socks because mine are driving me crazy today so I'm going to change them now. Oh my god, they are so soft and so much warmer. Purchase money well spent. <laughs> Last night's Thai food might have been authentic, but Vietnamese, Thai and sushi don't go together. This needs to stop happening. line except it's actually kind of confusing so it took me to a couple of squares which I'm sure are really interesting if you know why they're famous and what happened in them but I don't actually have a like little travel guide for Hanover sorry don't judge me um, so, and then I got lost at Hop on Hop I couldn't find the connecting red line so we kind of just went back to one that I was at before but I mean even if you don't necessarily know exactly looking at it's kind of nice because it takes you to all of like the pretty old buildings and like I said before you can look up on your phone but I mean even if I know the German word for something it doesn't mean I necessarily know why it's important or famous I'm sure there's probably like an app or like a tour thing that goes with it which I will actually check later and if there is I'll put it in the description box in case anyone's got it over they might actually want to do a better job of this red line tour than I seem to be doing but the city is so nice it's so clean people are super friendly and polite everyone is very nicely dressed it's um I love Berlin but it's definitely a change from Berlin and even though it's smaller it doesn't really feel like it's well I'm not living here but as a tourist it doesn't really feel like it's lacking anything but yeah it's super windy here so I'm gonna go back in and follow the other red line because I can't tell whether it's because the construction's on or whether there's like multiple red lines and they don't, I kind of assume that they would make one big circuit, you know, for like dumb dumb tourists <laughs> like myself, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm gonna follow that line around and see if I can find something for lunch because it's actually like one o'clock now and I haven't even eaten breakfast. 
I haven't even eaten breakfast. I've only had a coffee so far because the place I went to for coffee, I thought I'd get food out, but then they only had cakes. I'm not really a cake for breakfast kind of girl. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. And I don't know why I'm speaking so weird. So I finally found some lunch. It's always like the hungrier I get, the more fussy I am. So I was pretty excited to see pesto pasta. Um, and then I've just come back to the hotel because it is so cold. I feel like I needed to warm up, but my room hasn't had the heater on. So it's actually not that much warmer here anyway. Hence why I still have my down jacket on. But yeah, I've worked out a route to go to the Royal Gardens. So I think, they close at 6 p.m. so I've got about three hours so I'm gonna catch the U-Bahn over there, have a wander around there, probably be totally freezing and then come back and work out what I'll do for dinner and stuff. <laughs> I don't know why, but in my head, last time I was in Europe, I always just think of France when I think of nice gardens. And like, yes, Paris does have beautiful gardens. Um, and I can't remember, what is the name of the castle? Hmm, I should know that. Anyway, but I've been really, really, really impressed with all of the gardens, like especially the palace gardens that I've been to so far in Germany. So yeah, I definitely don't think if you're in Europe, you should discount some of these smaller German cities because they are gorgeous. Like they're they're genuinely just like little fairy tale cities. <laughs> gardens inside the garden I really just feel like I'm hanging out in some sort of 19th early 20th century novel it's pretty fun Ooh, it's kind of actually like I haven't done solo solo travel in a while but it's actually a really nice thing to do if you're here by yourself it's very 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 chill literally just went and sat in a cafe for like I think an hour just resting my feet even though I wasn't that far away from the hotel I was just so tired I couldn't be bothered walking and also it's just it's really cold so now I'm just trying to work out if I can get some food delivered because I really I'm so tired I don't want to go out again but then also I don't know, I don't feel like eating crappy food if I can't find anything either, so... Might have to make a compromise. Anyway, that is the current plan. But yes, all I want to do is sit and watch random German TV and eat a pizza. My camera 
I died at a super inopportune time. So I got to the station and all the trains were super delayed because of the weather. So apparently some of the upper lines had been broken. <laughs> so my train left about two hours after it was supposed to leave. But we always only found out 20 minutes, like by 20 minutes. So we were all standing up there freezing on the platform. Um, and yeah, and then my train didn't go to the station it was meant to. So the trip back to the apartment was a bit longer than anticipated, but I'm back in Berlin now and pretty happy to be, so it is freezing cold. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, and give me any tips that you have about travel in Germany because I would love to hear them. Anyway, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.